When you convert something to an editable poly, you're given different options as far as how to tweak or modify that object or that model. And uh, one of the ways you can do it is by making selections um, of particular pieces of that model and then moving them around. Um, so let's start simple. We'll, we'll make a little box here. And I've got this uh, with three, three, and three. So three segments, length, width, and height. And then uh, I'm going to right click on it, I'll choose the selection tool, right click on it, convert to editable poly. So now um, the computer no longer sees it as um, a primitive object, but rather as a model or as a poly, an editable poly. Um, if you go over to this menu, this is the modify menu, and it's in between hierarchy and create. If you click on that, and then underneath it, you've got editable poly. Um, if you expand this, you have different options underneath. One says vertex, and that's the little points where the, the lines meet. The other one says edge, and this is the actual lines themselves. You see border, and this is like uh, the rim, or for example, and this would be like the top here. Suppose this uh, top piece were gone, this polygon were gone, would be the, the rim got to be open for uh, this particular feature to work. Polygon, this is the actual um, the actual plates inside the model. And then element would be the entire model. Now these run in sync with these. So um, the purpose for that is uh, just preference. Some people prefer to click down here and some people prefer to click in here. Uh, you get the, it's the same thing. So uh, personally, I like to click in here. So for example, if I click vertices, notice that it's in sync with this button here. If I click edge, notice that it automatically switched over. So some people like to switch between these like this, and some people like to switch between them like this. Okay, the first one is... Uh, vertex. And that's the little points in between these lines where these lines meet comes to a point and you can select one of these points or more of these points if you click control and hold you can select more than one but um, I'm just gonna select one for the sake of example and then I can move that point around And you can see the effect that it had on this model. And when you make a mistake, just uh, hold Control and hit Z, and it'll undo, just like other softwares out there. So I'm going to undo until we get back to where we were before. And now I'll show you edge. Edge is the little lines in between the points. So um, this is a little deceiving because it, it looks like there's two edges selected, but that's just because the gizmo itself is red. Um, really, it's just one line at a time that selects. And you can select multiple edges too. So if I hold control and I select another edge, and then... Um, I move that. It's a, notice how it moves both both edges up, and you can see the effect that that had on this model. Okay, so I'm going to undo, and then I'll choose. Uh, I'm going to skip border. I'll go to polygon. And um, notice that this is the little plates inside. So wherever there's a little surface, it selects. And you can choose uh, control and select multiple parts as well and move those. So um, 
I'm going to hit the delete key so I can show you border. So yeah, I've deleted that, so now there's a border. This is like an open box now. See, there's no, no roof. So if I click on border, and then I click on it, notice how it selects the border. See, it selected the rim. You can see in the top viewport here. And in the left viewport, you can see that the entire top is selected. It's selected all around. So that might come in handy if you wanted the box to be shorter, or taller, something like that. Another thing too is um, if you hold uh, shift, you can you can create more segments that way. You can expand, um, and you can also mix and match different tools like rotate, scale. See, and that's what uh, see now. This looks like almost like a a chimney or a um, air conditioning vent or something so you can see how you can um, model by combining these uh, different tools selection rotate scale and then of course these that we're going over over here in the modify menu um, and then the last one is element if you click element it's the it selects the entire piece and lets you make uh, adjustments to it.